want to introduce the, um, uh, I don't want to call him a keynote speaker because you don't like it, I, I don't know it, but uh, our friend, uh, Pierluigi Zappacosta, if you can come here, let's give him a round of applause. Pierluigi, as part of the Italian community as I am here, uh, is kind of a you know, legend as part of the Italians that came here a few decades ago. Uh, don't... Century, century. A few centuries ago, yes. <laughs> uh, the founder and ex-CEO of Logitech. Logitech you all know because you keep in your hands every day. And, uh, and now he's been doing a bunch of different things. So the idea is really to share some, you know, a few minutes and asking a few questions, trying to get to know his experience here um, in Silicon Valley as a, an entrepreneur, in fact, coming from Europe and then make it big here um, a few centuries ago. Uh, but still extremely successful and then, you know, uh, involved in different activities that also on a part of the investment I side. I would so. definitely like to hear some of the questions because personally I cannot imagine what kind of questions can a group like you, yours have for an old guy like me. Now you have to realize that when I came here the internet did not exist. <laughs> Electricity did. But, uh, <laughs> How did you know about Silicon Valley without the internet? That's, that's really a challenge. Oh, I, you know, I didn't know about the Silicon Valley. In fact, uh, I just followed my wife. <laughs> <laughs> and as a matter of fact, I, then, then we were in Pisa and someone, my wife got a job with IBM at the scientific center in Palo Alto. And so I asked, uh, she was at the University of Pisa, so I asked some professor, I said, well, what could, could I do? I said, oh, you could uh, enroll in Stanford. Where is Stanford? <laughs> Give some of the facts of your bio. Born in Chieti, 1950. Uh, founded Logitech, 1981, uh, with Giacomo Marini, a friend of ours, and uh, Daniel Borel. Uh, you served there for 17 years. Uh, first as a CEO, then vice chairman. Um, and the Logitech went public in Switzerland in 1988. Mm -hmm. And then again at NASDAQ in 1997. Yes. Well, did it twice. Twice. Yeah, I had the pleasure to go twice to the dog and pony show. Two different decades and two different two different continents. In fact, uh, yeah. I would like to talk about this later. But oh, let me tell you, in in Europe, you eat much better. So when we had the presentation to the investors in Europe, it was great food. <laughs> That's that successful IPO, and then in '98, when you left, sales of uh, Logitech had risen over 400 million a year. After that, chairman of Digital Persona, Sierra Science, and a venture partner with uh, Noventi Venture Capital. And so I'm a little bit involved with the VC. The coolest thing that I do, I'm on the board of Nido, Nido Robotics. I didn't know that, so we should add it again to Wikipedia. And uh, it's, it's a robot that cleans the floor. So I think someone from mice to cleaning the floor. It's, it's a really, really low-level low life. <laughs> <laughs> The attitude is totally different. So, I, I think that people were writing software in those days were a different kind of people. They were doing a different kind of job. Writing software these days is, you know, well, it seems to me like uh, taking a piece from here, the piece from there, you put it together, you run, you see, you, know, you iterate. It's much more like a evolutionary kind of, uh, of coding. You know? So. Um, I would, I would say, no, in my case, the product had to be perfect before we ship. 